Hi, irate female veteran here. I'm piggybacking off of the irate veteran VA Madness, who is a guy by the name of Eugene who has videos on YouTube that will help you apply for your VA disability. He's incredible. He gives you the process in a very linear fashion. Dress right dress. Explains pretty much everything you need to know about applying for disability, the road bumps, the forms, so on and so forth. That's not what I, the irate female veteran, is going to address. I used his methods, of course. I went to a veteran service officer. I did all the right things. But then I turned up the volume by doing some what I would call unorthodox things, putting some things in my file that some people were like, oh my god, you can't put that in your file. And I did. The outcome was extremely good. Uh, I have been rated. I'm happy. So I want to share some of that with you. Um, so number one, I want to say I encourage you to watch the videos by the irate veteran. I'm going to call him the irate veteran, but he goes under irate veteran and VA madness. Watch those videos. Don't expect to walk into a veteran service office, plop your paperwork down on the desk, sign a couple of forms and have everything go hunky dory because that's not how it goes. And while some of these people may care very much about your case, you need to take ownership of it. And you need to put all that fear that's floating around in your head and I didn't get a statement from the doctor and I didn't do this and oh my God, what about that? Because we all deal with that. <sighs> Let it go. Because it'll just swarm in your head for the two, three, four, five, six years, whatever it is you're, you're going through to apply for your disability. Again, I'm going to share some unorthodox methods and some methods which I believe sped up the process. I believe we're told a lot of things that aren't correct, and I'm going to use one of them right here right now. I was told that they only expedite cases if you're homeless. That's not the case with me. I was jobless, didn't have an income, but I wasn't homeless. And the veteran service officer talked to his manager, and they expedited my case. My case was handled very quickly compared to what I'm hearing from other veterans. So that's one small thing in the process of pushing the button and maybe doing some things outside of the box. I didn't lie. I told the truth. I'm not working. I lost my job, lost everything I owned, uh, starting all over again, but I wasn't homeless. And yes, they did expedite my case. So throwing it out there, you're going to hear a lot of different things from a lot of different offices, and I'm going to teach you a couple little methods about how to work through that because you're going to hear one thing from your veteran service officer. You better do your check-in on that and make sure that what they're telling you is actually reality. It may be what they're being told, but it may not be 100% reality. Anyhow, um, I'll cut this one off. This is my intro, and please watch my other videos. It might take a little while before I get them up, but uh, please watch it because I am the irate female veteran.